Hey, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be learning how to uh, texture and apply material to our 3D characters' eyeballs. And we're going to learn two different ways. We're going to learn a ramp way using a ramp node, and a second way using a texture. And they're both um, and they're both pretty different. So let's just bring back our um, eyeballs under here. Um, let's just go here and show our eyes. There we go. And then we're just going to hide our body. We don't need to see that at the moment. And I'll just hide the tongue to get it out the way. And we are first of all going to create a new Arnold shader. So let's just create our, um, our standard surface shader here. And let's open up the hyper shade so we can see things a bit easier. And I'm going to call this um, eyeball material. Um, there we go. And so first of all, we want to uh, create the ramp way. Now before I do this, I just want to show you that we created um, standard spheres for the eyeballs and it comes with its um, own uh, UV layer. Let's just open those up here, uh, UV editor. And you'll notice it's, it, it's not sort of mapped in a spherical way. It's just, um, it's just open like this. And, and this is the default UVs you get when you create a sphere. Now to use this ramp, uh, ramp texture node uh, method of creating the eyeballs, this is how we need the UVs. So you need it as the standard sort of UVs that come when you create the sphere. So let's just close that down. I just wanted to point that out because um, for the other method, we will need to change the UVs. So now what we need to do is you need to create the ramp node. Let's go in and it's under the um, Maya and then 2D textures. And there it is, there's our ramp. <clears throat> I'm just gonna zoom in here and open up a little bit. And as you can see, there's our ramp, ramp one. And you can see it's gradiated. The default is black to white. If I click on this and go to our um, attribute editor, um, you'll notice that um, you can change the values here and you'll see it change here. Um, you can change the colors, add your colors. You can change the direction as well, vertical ramp, horizontal ramp. So I'm just gonna put it back to that. Now, what we wanna do is connect up the uh, this into our color slot. So let's just middle mouse drag over to the color slot and you'll see that you get um, the ramp applied. And I'm gonna apply this to uh, both our eyeballs just so we can see what's going on for now. And there it goes in there. So, um, and, and, and as you can see, we, um, we've got our Arnold viewport render thing here as well. But instead of running this, like, um, I'm just gonna stop that. I'm just gonna um, show you, you can up the gamma settings in your uh, viewport, which we haven't been using for now. Um, let me just open this up. Let me just bring the um, body back and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, you'll notice that the viewport's been a bit dark. Um, that's just the way it runs with viewport two and, 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 and using Arnold shaders. But you can actually go to here and just sort of up this to one uh, and bring it up. But that will mean that when you render, everything will be too bright. So you have to um, tone it down again. Sorry, it doesn't show you. With, with the Arnold renderer, you have to go out and in again. It's a little bit buggy like that. Um, but, you, but you see, I've just brightened it up just for the viewport um, um, uh, presentation as it is. So I'm going to hide the body again and let's have a look at our ramp. So our ramp's applied. Now I'm going to open up the settings for our ramp here and we are going to, and as you can see, watch what happens when I, I bring these in. As you can see, there's, there, there's our ramp and it's, 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 it's sort of getting closer together, softer or sharper. So what I want to do from here is um, create sort of our eyeball colors. So at the back of the eye, we could have a little sort of, um, you know, you can leave it white or we can have a sort of pink color. Um, let's just go to something like, just a bit, uh, a bit slightly pinky at the back. And there you go, it's come in there. I'm just gonna um, um, open up this gamma setting again here. Okay, so there you've got our sort of pinky back, and let's um, let's go in and ch just change this up now to create sort of um, our eyeball colours. So what we want is obviously black to be our um, our pupil. So let's send that right to this side. You can see that taking shape already here, and um, we want the eye to be white and pink at the back. So let's bring this up, and now we're going to add another in colour. So we want to. Um, create sort of uh, an iris color. They are cartoony eyes for now. Um, let's just um, add another color in here and let's create a sort of um, blue color, whatever you, you know, colors you want to use and shove that right up to um, the, the pupil. Now, as you can see at the moment, it's quite um, soft. So what we can do is you can, you can stack these close to each other. So I'm going to add another one here and I'm going to bring this blue right up close. And as you can see, the closer I get, the sharper it gets and then suddenly it pops over. So I'm going to, um, it's nice to have a little bit of softness. 
um, and then I'm going to bring the white up and as you can see we're starting to form our eyes here so let's just darken this blue up to um, match I'm going to select the blue there and I'm going to use the blue that we've um, used before um, it's a bit bigger at the moment so let's just bring this in and this is the good thing about this technique you can sort of position these where you want you can have smaller um, pupils and let's just see what this looks like there we go so you've got your eyeballs, you've got the sort of pink at the back if you need that, you know, you might not want that on a cartoony sort of look, you can bring this forward as well. And there you go. So let's just um, hit the three key on both of these so they're smooth. And let's just um, let's just see what this looks like in, in the uh, Arnold viewport render. So we're just gonna have to bring this back down to, um, bring back down to naught. Right, let's just run this. And there you go quite a quick and easy way to make the eyeball there and we you know you can go into your settings here um, let's just open this up I'm sorry it's hard to see it all on one screen um, let's just go into the settings and um, you know you might want to take your uh, um, roughness um, down to make them shinier uh, as you can see this all um, nice and quite shiny in there um, you can you know take your specular down you see the specular getting um, 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 sh um, um, more intense um, <clears throat> the only thing you don't get with this technique is the um, the little highlight you get on your eye so you'd have either have to create another sphere over the top or a little bit of white geometry the sort of white highlight to go in there and I'm just going to select my ramp again and I'm going to um, just just play with this let's see what it looks like with a sort of smaller pupil that's quite good. So there you go. You've got quite a lot of flexibility, you know, and you want, might want to change um, the irises to green. Um, and there we go. So that's quite a simple technique. So um, I'm just going to uh, go on to another sort of feature that we can add also with these. This is a sort of cartoony look we've got at the moment. Nice flat, uh, flat eyeballs. But we, if you want, we could add some sort of... Um, 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 more detailing in the actual iris with some uh, texture nodes uh, and let's try that now. So to do that I'm going to show you another little nice trick. So let's zoom in on our eyeballs a little bit here so we can see what we're doing around the irises and let's create some room in our hypershade. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another texture and plug it into um, the, the iris colour. So let's go over to our 2D textures here and let's pull up, um, sorry if you, if you can see this very well, um, let, let's just try, a, you can use different ones but we need a sort of noise texture. We're going to go with the 2D noise. Let's click that here. So um, I'm going to zoom in on this here so you can just see what we've got here. Um, let, let's just apply it um, straight out and, and, and see what we get. So what we can do is we can actually plug um, the textures into the color slots within our ramp. So let's just select the outer iris blue and let's um, middle mouse drag the noise over to the selected color and instantly you see what comes in here. So um, I, I know we wanted cartoony eyes but I just want to show you this so you can get a little slight bit more realism if, if you wanted to. So now let's go in and edit our, um, our little noise texture and don't forget we're on the outer one here so you could add it to the inner blue one as well but um, this is going to take some experiment and just have fun and, and, and play with this. So let's go down to our default color. Let's try using the same blue we had before okay so we've selected it there and you see nothing changes at the moment let's go to our color gain and select it and it pops in there and you can see we've got this nice little um, 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 sort of iris texture um, which, which comes in just adds a little bit of a little bit of difference so let's just try, try playing with our um, color offset and, um, and our color gain let's bring our color gain down and you can see the the edge starts to get a little bit darker which is um, what we do have to be honest, in an eye, the outer, the outer rim. So you could go back to your ramp texture out here. Um, um, let me just see. Yep, sorry, a bit slow to catch up there. And you could actually um, add another um, dark blue on, on the end here if you wanted, um, in, instead of um, doing it this way. Um, right, let's go back to our texture here. So, so let's have a play with this. So, um, you know, you've got different um, different noises. You've got perlin, which is a bit um, um, a, a different sort of effect. You can up the thresholds, um, change the um, amplitude um, and the ratio to get sort of um, more pattern in there. And as you can see, it's it's getting quite 
quite strong now, um, just so you can um, see all the options to you. And, and here's another nice little trick as well. I'm going to select the noise and I'm going to go over to the actual place 2D texture um, noise of, of, of the noise node. And I'm going to go over to our um, repeat UVs and I'm going to take um, th this one down to zero. So basically, if you if you look at my node here, I I've, I've completely stretched it. It's, it's only um, it's zero in in, um, in in Y and and fully in in vertical. And as you can see, you do get a nice um, different sort of um, 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 fi uh, sort of look, a different style there. Really, let me just undo that again. And as you can see, it's a bit more broken up. And then when we um, go to zero, you get this uh, this sort of look. So you know. Have a bit of a play with that. That, that, that it's a really nice way of, of getting extra texture in there if you want. Um, and don't forget, we've only also applied this noise to um, the, the the first color. You you might want to also um, say apply that to this one as well. Let's just try to see what that looks like. Um, let's just drag this over. There you go. See, and that looks a bit that looks a bit silly to be honest. Looks a bit too much. I'm just going to um, um, undo that. Um, and it looks like we have to stop the uh, Arnold renderer. Sometimes you get this, you have to go out to here, go renderer, viewport, and then go back to Arnold renderer, and then and then um, hit the hit the button again to catch up. I don't know why, but it does that. Anyway, there you go. I really hope that 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 helps with another little texture, um, another little sort of you know string to your bow, um, you know, adding a little bit more more detail within the irises. Have a play, see what you can do with it. Uh, you know, play also play with the colours, you know, maybe with this blue we can start going into the greens, you know, you can get all sorts of sort of um, cool looks going on. Okay, so and what we're going to do is move into part two now and we're going to um, be um, uh, doing the eyeballs a different way this time. So we're actually going to be just applying a texture. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but it allows us to have, you know, the highlight um, and, and, and more control. You can use photograph textures or just flat textures. So let's go on to that now. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator and I've created a very simple um, cartoony eye. It's got a nice little double highlight. Um, so, you know, have fun with that. D design your own eye, it can be any colors, it can be any shade, it doesn't have to be flat color. Um, but this is the sort of look I'm going for at the moment. So I've, I've got, got my eye um, texture and I've exported it as a PNG and we're gonna bring it um, back into Maya here. So let's stop the Arnold renderer that we've got running in here and open up our Hypershade, which is here. And I am going to uh, just simply, um, like I did before, I'm gonna drag and drop, I think it's this one here, into um, our Hypershade. Um, and there it comes in, let's just zoom in on there. You can see my Cartoon Eye PNG set up there. So all we're gonna do um, at the moment, you can see our network that we had before with the ramp. So we're just gonna replace that. So we're gonna go to the eyeball material, let's move this out the way and go to our attribute editor so we can um, see all the uh, attributes and I'm gonna replace it. So just same as before, if you just um, middle mouse, drag it up to color, it will replace the ramp. Um, and there you can see it's come on, it's on our eyeball. But as you can see, it's completely um, distorted. Now the reason for that is, as I mentioned um, earlier in the, in the tutorial, um, that we have to use different um, UVs. So let's open up our UV editor. And it's just on the other screen at the moment. There we go. So as you can see, that's what this is what we had um, before, which is the default UVs you get when you create a sphere. Um, but that, but if you want to use a texture, um, we have to sort of create our own UV uh, UV mapping um, with a simple planar map. So if you if you just select your eye, um, the, the eye geometry here, which is facing dead forward at the moment, um, and then we're going to go to UV um, and planar mapping, and then just check the settings. Uh, let me just drag this back onto the, the screen. And what we want is we want it to go down the Z axis. If you look here um, at your little um, gizmo in the corner, we want to go, we, we want to plane our map, which is a flat map down the Z camera plane. So if we click apply, there you go. You can see it's, <coughs> see, let me just um, go to object mode. And there you, there you go. You can see it on, come onto the eye straight away. It looks great. And you'll notice that it's also um, round the back. Um, because when you plane our map, it does it, it, the, the projection comes in this way from the front, and then it also does the reverse of the back. Um, now, if we turn on our body, you're not really going to see that. Um, I'll just show you. 
there you go you're not really going to see, see that anyway but it's not good to have um, overlapping UVs and it's not really difficult um, to uh, to fix either so if we just hide the body again select our um, eye and uh, what we can do is you can see uh, the UV layout here um, just as we learned in our um, UV wrapping uh, tutorial we're going to go to edge just double click here go up to cut and sew and cut and what it's done is it's it, it's cut it's created a UV um, seam around the edge and 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 our, our geometry comes up to about here so you're never going to see behind this and then what we want to do is go to UVs and then let's just um, find where that shell is so we um, hold down the control key um, if you remember go to um, UV shell and you can just move this out the way and you can see it moving in the front and what we really want is we want um, the other shell. So let's try and see if we can, um, if we just hit the, um, the the one key, let's just see if we can um, select the right UV shell here. We might have to just move it out of the way. There you go, we've got the back one there. If you do get the front one, just move it out of the way and then move it back again. So what I'm gonna do is move this out of the way and you can see the back um, it, it is free in a way. And it, this is showing that the um, UVs are the wrong way because it's red. Blue is, is okay and red is, um, uh, flip the wrong way. Really easy to fix. So we just select the UVs, obviously minus these ones, go up to modify and then flip and it's now blue so it's the right way. But we're not going to see these so we just, um, oops, sorry, we're just going to select all of them and we're just going to shrink these down, right down because we're never going to see this. And you know, if you if you want, if you do have some sort of weird bulbous eye creature, you know, you can cut these UVs um, um, differently. Just go back to the video on UV mapping. I'm going to put it in our UV space up in the corner, and we'll never see that. So you don't have to do that, but it is it, it's good practice. So there you go. Now, if I close that, close down the UV editor, and there you go. So now we've got our 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 eye and that was very very simple so now you notice that the other eye needs doing as well so you know if you did the planar mapping you'd have to cut it all off again so what you can do is you can just select one select the other and go up to um, um, let's see it gets up to uh, mesh and then transfer attributes and we're going to open up the settings and what you want here is you want um, you, you might have to play with this a bit. Let's just um, let's just check this. I think it's topology, um, and let's open up the UV editor again so we can see what we're doing. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and transfer the UVs from here to here. And you, you could do this. It won't take a second to do it manually either. But I'd like to show you this. Um, let's just let's just check this. So we want um, topology. I've selected this one first, and then the, the, the this one second, and click apply. And as you can see, it's copied the exact UVs here from here onto this eye without having to do all that work. So it's a really useful tool. Um, now I'm just going to object select off, and we've got both done. So let's, I'm just going to um, brighten up um, as we did before the gamma here, so we can see what we're doing in the in the viewport a bit more. Um, there we go. And there's our nice cartoony eyes. Let's turn our body back. There you go. Looking good. I like the positioning of that. And the beauty about this is that you can just make changes and instantly change them. So if now I go back to um, Illustrator and I'll bring this back onto this screen and if you wanted to like move things around or change color so we could select this and say um, let's just um, oh, where's my toolbar gone and let's just like just change the color to green for example and then I'm just going to re-export over the top of, of our texture and, and it's a good way of working. It's, um, it's cartoon um, I2 and I'm doing a use artboard because I want to use the artboard um, to keep it exactly square and I'm going to click export and it will um, just change it to art optimized and it will say would you like to replace and replace you, you might be using Photoshop you might be using um, Affinity Designer whatever program it, it does not matter and as you can see over in Maya, um, it's also updated. Sometimes you need to click on the geometry to get it to update, um, just move around. Sometimes you actually need to click on the texture node, go to your um, attribute editor, and then click the reload button to reload the texture. Um, but as you can see, it's really it's really quick, really simple to just, just make changes. Now you can go and sort of 
think, oh, I want the pupil smaller, just shrink it, just save over the texture, bring it back into Maya. Um, and um, so let, 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 let's see how we can use a different texture now as well. So let's, um, you know, we want our style cartoony, but I'm just gonna show you what you can do uh, with a realistic looking texture. So let's go to our, um, our, our folder and I've actually saved uh, a more sort of realistic eye here. It's not really suitable for this character, but let's just have a little look what it looks like. So again, it's really easy to do to sort of try these different looks out with this method. So let's click on, let's zoom in. Um, and then if you can see this, I'm selecting my material again, and I'm going to middle mouse and replace the color. And as you can see, it's really quick to just try different eyeballs out. I mean, you know, that looks, that looks Obviously, it's quite a realistic eye and it's too realistic for our character. Um, let's just bring back the, the body. Um, obviously, it, you know, you might want something like that, but that, that obviously doesn't really suit. You know, you can have a mixture uh, of, different, of different styles, a bit, a bit realistic. Um, but, you know, we did want to uh, have a cartoony eye, so um, let's put that back. But I just wanted to show you how quick and easy this is now to sort of just keep, you know, you could bring in 10 textures, 10 different looks, 10 different colors, and just, just drag, drop them, and see what they look. Try them out. There we go. So let's, um, let, let's move this over now. Um, take down, the, uh, take down the, the gamma setting back to normal again, and let's go to our um, Arnold renderer, bring that back. Do a quick little um, IPR um, test render. And there you go. That's how to do the eye textures. Okay, so you may notice that the eyes are really like bulbous at the moment. It's just because the way we sort of just, just modeled a big open eye just to, um, uh, you, you know, make things easy for ourselves to see the eyeballs. We want to, we want to bring this down. They're a bit too, for me, a bit too, um, a bit too bulbous really. So we we want a kind of a nicer shape, bring the top down. So let's just quickly fix this now, because then when we move on to the, um, the final stages, you know, we want to add a nice, um, we, we want to add some cartoony eyelashes and eyebrows in. So uh, we, we may as well fix that now. Let's just quickly um, stop this. Let's um, take this up to here. And we're gonna, I'm just gonna move this out of the way. And move this over. Okay. And let's just, um, let's, ju let's just bring this in. So we're gonna go back to just some real basic modeling now um, and make sure that we've got our, um, we want our symmetry on. So I'll hold down the W key up to symmetry. Um, okay, and let's, let's, let's just work this shape a little bit better. It's too bulbous at the moment. So we've got symmetry on. We're gonna hit the B key for um, soft selection. And then I'm gonna hold down the B key and middle mouse drag, just sort of, set how soft I want that. I'm gonna deselect these ones and um, let's let's just let's just bring this bring this down. We, you, you, you don't want to model in an expression like sad or anything because that will come when we rig the character for animation. What you want to do it, it still wants to stay, stay neutral but for me the the eyes were just too um, too bulbous, too too sort of round and scary. So let's um, let's see let's just Bring this forward. Don't always forget to deselect the ones in the back. Um, yeah, that looks a bit. That looks a bit better. And um, let's see. Maybe you could bring these. See, I'm deselecting the ones that you've accidentally selected in the back. Um, I'm holding down the B key again. Let's just do a little bit of a bigger move. And again, this is obviously dependent on what your character looks like. It's just good after you do the textures, you sort of, you know, you do see things that need that need fixing. You'll probably make the um, the the irises bigger actually again. You know, um, um, later on. Um, let's just see what this looks like. Bring this forward so it got a bit of a nice eyelash. She looks a bit a bit angry there, so let's just um, just soften that. Yeah, 
if you have an angle that goes down, like from outside down, he will he will have that sort of anger expression. And as you can see, look, if if I move this, that's angry and sort of sort of more more warmer. But again, none of this matters because when you rig a character, you 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 sort of you pose the face anyway. What I don't want is you just didn't want those 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 eyes so so sort of you know like i keep saying the word bulbous but it is it's it was a bit alien like and now that we've got the textures on the eyes a bit more it's it's much easier to see so we we always do you know swap and change and go back um you know changing what we do um you know from texture into modeling let's see just try this one There we go, he, he, you know, and, and I will tweak this again later, but, but straight away that that's, you know, that that's that's better. Now, one thing I want to point out now is it's it's as you know the the eyes are rotated exactly f forwards, ninety degrees. That doesn't really ha that that doesn't really happen, especially on a, on a three D character. What you want to do is you want to rotate them out slightly. So what I'm going to do is you can see they're. Um, they're, they're, they're sort of facing forward exactly right and what we're going to do it, it it just tends to look a little bit weird so I'm just going to rotate them out this way a little bit and I've gone sort of let's do exact amount minus five degrees and then this one would be plus five degrees Oop. so this one would be plus plus five degrees on the Y sorry I did hit the uh, um, um, Unshaded view there. There you go. So you can see that 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 that's a it's a bit more a bit a bit more natural, and the eyes are rot just just have a tiny bit of rotation um, um, outwards. Um, and I definitely would like to, um, to 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 bring bring the size of these these textures up. So I'm just going to quickly go back to um, Illustrator or whatever you've done. I'm going to um, extend. The size of my eye sort of a bit and I'm going to go back to using a blue um, because that was the that was the original design with mine um, I'm just going to quickly um, export this again export as um, and use the uh, use the same method I did before just overwrite what I did And replace and then I'm going to go um, back to Maya so now back in Maya let's um, let's quickly update our texture there you go I had to hit the reload button there you go that's better bigger bigger sort of eyes um, there's a bit of a bit of a weird shape here let's just fix that sometimes you have to go back to unsmooth mode just a little bit of polishing as we go Sometimes it's better to go back to um, um, hit the one key, go back to non-smooth. There you go. So these these eyes, um, are, you know, a, a lot more appealing. It looks a bit weird without the eyelashes and the eyebrows at the moment, and we're going to get that um, get to that. I'm just going to te texture up the hair, obviously first, and then um, I'm going to do the the eyelashes. So hopefully you're getting real value out of this so far. We've come a really long way. Um, if you are, if you could um, hit the subscribe button and the like button, um, spread the word. And, um, you know, we are almost at the end now. So um, we will see you in the next video. Thanks very much.